state that I, I, I really want on the record that this is about the welfare of the child, that there's nobody in here that doesn't want access to quality, affordable child care. There's nobody that we've met with, that we've talked to, that this is what we want. And the stress and the pages and pages and pages of notes I have from parents whose mental health is declining daily because they do not have access to child care is a major, major concern. And so when I'm doing these lines of questioning about inclusivity and the language, it is for the welfare of the child. It is not to be some political game. It really is about the intersection of having access to all. In page 19, you said that there was slide 19, the council would consist of 10 to 18 who represent diversity of Canadian society. Um, what are the KPIs, key performance indicators for council members? How are you measuring the success and how did you decide who these, these 10 to 18 are that are representing diversity and does that include small, independent, operated, owned home daycares? Thank you for the question. I'm sure you can appreciate that, that you know, having as a goal um, the creation of a national advisory council that is reflective of the diversity of Canada, um, but also limiting the size of that council to 18 people makes it almost impossible for every voice, every experience to be heard on that council. Because we're so limited, I hate to interrupt, I'm so sorry, okay. but is there is there private represented on that council and what are the key performance indicators to measure success for this council? So I don't have key performance indicators to measure success of the council. The council is an advisory body in place to provide advice to the Minister of Families, Children and Social Development. How are we going to measure if it is successful? Short I think success success of the council uh, this year will reflect the council's work to engage with members of the com of ELCC communities across Canada to engage even with the for-profit sector um, to ensure that the advice that it is providing to the minister on the workforce challenges which I mentioned they, they've been tasked with that as their their primary priority right now is reflective of of the diverse experience and, and views of Canada's of Canadians across the country.